"'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the village, not a creature was stirring, not even a pillager. The shulkers were stacked by the chimney with care, and hoped that St. Hen would soon be there. The adults were nestled, all snug in their builds, while visions of boating glory danced in their heads. Season's greetings, and welcome back, everyone. Today is a very special day. Today, we are having the very Dementia Craft Holiday Special Celebration. That's right, everybody. It's here. It's here. It's Christmas! Woo! Well, okay. It's almost Christmas, but listen, we're adults. We've got things to do, so we're going to do this before Christmas, all right? Get off my back. But... Before we get on to the event, I have so much work to do. You know what? Let's just, let's just get right into it. Yes, here we are, the Christmas cabin area. I'm not gonna show it off yet because not everybody's done and a lot of people are working right now, but there are some things that I need to get started here in the Christmas area, specifically things that involve my event, the Great Boat Race, the Dementia Craft Gumball Rally. I don't have a name yet. I do not have a name yet. I will, I will. just let me, I'll, I'll come, you know me, I'll come up with it. But so one of the first things I think that I want to do is before I fully put up the racetrack is I need some grandstands, a place for people to watch and cheer. And if they're not, not interested in racing, they can just come be a part of the event anyways. So I think that's the first thing I'm going to get done today. So why don't you guys sit back? I'm going to slap a quick time lapse right in your face. Just slap a big... Roll it! <laughs> Okay guys, we've done a ton of work here. Um, some of it on camera, some of it off camera. Uh, sometimes when I put my head down, I forget to turn the camera on and I just get into a frenzy, a building frenzy. But let me show you guys what I've been getting into over here. Oh, you see these guys behind me? They're gonna be something special later. Let me see. I think they have, oh, Prancer, Dancer. Oh boy. Let's go take a, oh, that looks good from here. So I did connect up a little bit of a, a simple path here. I didn't want to do anything too elaborate because I have so much stuff to do, but I couldn't stand not being connected to the neighborhood here. But if we come down this way, I got the grandstands up. Oh, what do you think? What do you guys think? This looks pretty cool, right? 
So there's a side entrance, which when I was originally putting it, making it creative, I should have built it on the other side, but that's okay. That's okay because there's going to be a main entrance. I'm going to build kind of like a balcony, maybe like a tunnel coming up through here. And then I want to decorate this. It's kind of like the entrance space where you could pick out your boat, you know, kind of like the locker room. It's going to be like the idea. And then coming up through here, you can just take a good look at the raceway. The main race is going to start right here. I'm going to make like a finish line, starting line here. And ugh, I love this color. I love this red palette. Might be too dark up here. Let me throw some of these just in case. I'm going to put some fancy lights in here. But like I said, I've got a lot to do. I'm going to do big stuff right now. And then I'm going to go behind later and clean up some of the details. But I do want to show you some of the stuff I got done with the race. Let me grab my boat. Okay, here's what I got so far. Good warning here. I am not good in a boat. Here we go. Oh yeah, first turn. Okay, first turn. Clean, clean, nice. Oh mama, oh banger. Okay, now I put some packed ice through here because it'll slow it down a little bit through the snake curve. I'm gonna call this the, the mare section. Just like her base is a big snake portion and then we're gonna, oh, well that's it. Okay, but honestly, that took me forever. This was mostly not ice. I had to terraform this mountainside here and stuff like that and then go behind and place all the ice by hand. But you know what? It's gonna be worth it. And I cannot wait to show you guys the rest of this race. So I, I think for now, maybe I'm just gonna fire up the camera and just keep working on this race. And I'll pop back in every so-and-so and, you know, just kind of introduce some of the obstacles that I'm making along the way. So let's go. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way Bills and muffins we making sweetest bright What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride. And soon Miss Fanny Bright was seated by my side. The horse was lean and lank. Misfortune seemed his lot. We ran into a drifted bank and there we got up some. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh.
Okay, guys. So, like I showed you guys before, I already had my little Christmas house here set up. Oh, look at this place. I can't wait to show you guys all this. But from the other side of our nether roof portal here, I decided to give our race a name. The Frozen Fjord Grand Prix. Oh, I love it. Let's go take a peek at it. It's done. It's ready. So first I had to connect a nice little nice little path here coming down through with the holiday spirit, tons of light. A nice little walkway across here so you don't have to fall and slip on your face right away, you know? Now, I, I, like I said before, I wanted to add a really cool interior to this design because it was just kind of boring before. So check this out. So as soon as you come in, there's the racer changing area. You can come in through here and a nice little chandelier. And of course, you can pick out your boat. Are you an oak rider? A spruce forest? The mangrove mayhem? Jungle cat! The cherry nightmare? Acacia Leda? Or the dark horse? Everyone has a chance to pick out their own boat, of course, before the race. Wait, I think I'm missing one. What am I missing? Oh, birch. Eh, who cares? All right, I gotta clean up some corners here, but to come around this side is the old Hall of Fame, the leaderboard, of course. Once we get some times and some races going on here, I'll be able to update some of this stuff and, you know, just make it pop with some color. And then if you turn around, of course, <laughs> let me just, <laughs> just, ooh, ooh, you know, I'm not building something without a, without a bar in it. The Frozen Fjord Lounge. Come on up, come on up. Look, I got some hot cocoa. We got some cookies. We got some eggnog. What's your, what's your desire? What's your taste? <laughs> Anyways, and as you, so I got all this interior done. And then as you come up through the entrance way here, you see we've got some a finish line going across here. I still never finish these lights, but ignore those. Ignore those. Ignore those. Do you know what? I'm just gonna walk you guys through the race a little bit. I'll give you guys a little heads up because once you get going full speed, it's really hard to see all the detail because you're so focused on not trying to crash and get through as fast as possible. And I did take some time to put some of these little details into it. So let's take a quick peek. All right, the starting line here, of course. Now you guys in the original video saw some of this stuff. Some cool lighting fixtures, huge snowman in the background. That was not me, that was AC, AC, A, I don't I have to learn how to say his name. I'll, I'll be talking to him later though. A few cool turns up here, I'm not doing great right now. I'm just gonna take her nice and slow. So like I said, I had to terraform all this. This was all land before, put ice down, all kinds of cool lighting structures. Now I went ahead and put some of these fun little snowmen in here. It's just uh, some on the outside decoration, but also some in the raceway. So you're gonna have to go be able to uh, negotiate some of these guys. I like this big hairpin turn here around the corner outside. And then as you come make the turn here, oh no guess who it is some more obstacles some of my favorite obstacles if I'm being honest and this is Aurora and down this way is Bjorn hey guys you're doing a great job now you're gonna have to come down to this condensed smaller entrance through here through the, the redstone cave and then look at this little guy he's my new favorite you know what his name is Door! All right, focus. So we've made our way past the polar bears and some of the snowmen. We got a big turn coming up here. Some more snowmen. Now we got a few in here with a big turn. Now there's there's two sections here. You can go this way or this way, depending on your speed. Both are manageable, but the inside one is definitely faster. Some holiday banners are coming across here. You can pick up speed here in the straightaway. Come around the backside. Now here's another great turn. You can hit it hard. Mario Kart drift that. Ooh, baby. I grew some spruces in the track for some extra obstacles, as well as the banners and the lights to make it look extra festive. Coming around the backside here. 
We do a, a nice little turn here in the corner and then it gets a little bit skinny. So I can see some pileups happening right here. Coming up the backside here, I meet some cool redstone lamp chasing lights. Some more snowmen and then you're coming up on home. Look, you see the village coming up in the background. Negotiate this nice and straight, hit it hard with a nice turn, bounce off the wall here, and then you're straight home. I love this. I'm so excited. I think right now I can, my best lap so far has been like a minute and 25 seconds or something like that. So I believe three laps is gonna be perfect. I was also thinking about doing a, almost like a Mario Kart double dash, where maybe you can have a teammate and after the first lap you have to swap positions and the other person has to drive. Um, and also maybe the back person can throw snowballs at the other players, kind of like banana peels. Um, but I don't know, we're just gonna have to wait and see. We're just gonna have to wait and see. But my portion of all the building here is done for the event. I've just got some little stuff to take care of. Let me get a nice sunset view here. That's glorious. Uh, I've got a few details to take care of. I want to clean up some of my shulker monsters and I think the next time we see each other, it should be the Christmas event. And I cannot wait to meet everybody. So let's just go ahead and get this party started. Okay, so uh, this is uh, KJ's Christmas Village, her Christmas extravagant. Look at that pig over there. Uh, we, she's been working on this for months now. She asked us all as a request to throw together like a little, a little cabin village area here, um, which everybody so graciously got involved with. And some of these builds are absolutely amazing. So I figured maybe we could all go around take a little peek at each other's builds here and that'll give everybody else enough time to start logging in. Okay. Cool. Good. Uh, who made this A-frame? Who's is this? I think it's Lop. Lop! This thing's amazing, bro. Tell us about it. Yeah, come on in. All right. I think Hen just logged on too. Yeah. She's got a little cozy little fireplace area here with some little minimal storage. Wow. And over here we just have a little like storage and kitchen kind of area and a table here for two. She yeah. said, hey, don't make anything too fancy. And he's like, oh, here's a two-story multi-functioning A-frame. Ow, berries! Yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking Lop is like, out of all these cabins, he's like the rich like mayor. Or he something. kind of does <laughs> feel like the rich mayor, like the Scrooge <laughs> McDuck around here. Yeah. Like, I got the fancy cabin. Let's get the fancy cabin. All right, who's out? This is Hen Spot, right? Yeah. The coop? The, the teeny tiny hen house. The hen house. <laughs> oh, 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 this is tiny. Can we all fit in here? Can everyone fit in here at the same time? I think so. <laughs> I'll, has to go in the bed, I'll go underneath here. <laughs> who's gonna jump on top of that with the chest? Okay. <laughs> There we go. Perfect. Hen, this is the perfect Hello. size cabin. Yeah. I'm so cozy. <laughs> I love the, the texture on the back with the, with the banners. The, the like tile thing. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, I got it from KJ's uh, uh, banner Christmas thing. Oh, oh that looks so All good. Right. There's so many cool things you can do with all this stuff. I'm only like halfway working this stuff, I feel like. <laughs> all right, here's the hot tub. Who made the hot tub? Did you make this too, Mary? I did. Uh, Head suggested it. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Lops yeah, is already very, up here. <laughs> it's not a good hot tub, but. <laughs> this, this, it, it fits all of us, definitely. I, I think the square footage is actually bigger than Hen's cabin, so we should all fit. Also, I totally stole uh, berries from you. 
Uh, <laughs> from Sam? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it still varies from Sam, too. Yeah. <laughs> so that's one diamond per berry, so... Oh. so it's all, yeah. <laughs> Hey, he did the work so everybody else didn't have to. <laughs> can we like, can we all get in front of the Christmas tree and get like a picture while it's snowing? Can somebody get like a good screenshot? Yeah, I can take a screenshot. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Who made the snow uh, Asky. Asky? Oh, okay. And he made the Christmas tree as well. Oh, nice. Where do we stand? got Santa Claus on it. It's like a banner with a Santa on it. And the entrance is on the left oh, side. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's, uh... Oh, I don't know if I tell you where it is. <laughs> is it over oh, here? Oh, yeah. Don't make me here. Okay. <laughs> where is here? Wait, oh yeah. Everyone's just flying away. Wow, no, no, magical. No, the fireworks look like yeah. custom. Why is Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Over here, everyone. Look at the handsome guy jumping. What? Oh. Okay. I gotta take a look here. She put so much work into this. Ten pages? Crazy. <laughs> An old Christmas tale. In old Norwegian folklore, there is a small creature known as the Sam say that word. Sam say that word. Uh, <laughs> the barn goblin. He can be seen as an elderly man with a full beard dressed in traditional farmer garb. A pullover, woolen tunic belted at the waist and knee breeches with stockings. Now he's a bit of a trickster and a chaotic force you want to pay attention to. Immensely strong and easily offended by carelessness, lack of respect, and lacy farm. He does not like lace, so you better take that lingerie off. He is the protector of farm and caretaker of livestock. His favorite animal is the horse, and you can see which one is his favorite, as it will be the healthiest and most cared for animal in the barn. Are we splitting off yet, or are we still all the same? I think now this time will be the same. Okay. Retributions for a farmer's bad practices range from small pranks, like a hard strike to the ear, or severe punishment like killing livestock or ruining the farmer's fortune. Tangling of livestock's fur and hanging harvest go bad can be the... Sam! In a bad temper. <laughs> Does the get out of my face, villager? <laughs> Does the horse have a tangle in his mane? It is probably you have forgotten. Even in modern day, a bad tangle is called an uh, Sam. Nisiknuta. Nisiknuta. Oh, this is awesome. A gnome tangle. Give him food and small gifts, and in return, he will make sure the barn animals prosper and the harvest survives the autumn and winter storage. It is customary to leave a bowl of porridge with butter for the... Yeah. At Christmas, in gratitude, or services given. Forgetting that will not go unnoticed. So why are you here? Read ahead. Welcome to the Christmas Village. In this small village, Christmas is finally upon us. But something has gone wrong. The presents went missing overnight. Hay bales are all over the place, and some of the animals are upside down. Oh, there we go. The villagers eventually realize they had forgotten to give his Christmas porridge. Oh, we're going to work together, buddy. We're, gonna, we're going places, Sam. They hurried, <laughs> made a huge bowl, and left it in the barn. This morning, the bowl was gone and... 
<laughs> left a clues as to the villagers can retrieve the presence. This is a long bug. The villagers are not the smartest creatures on this land. Yeah. So they need your help. Follow the clues and good luck. Leave the clues where you find them. The end. Follow the clues. Oh, yay! Yep. <laughs> I feel accomplished. We did it! We did it, everyone! Listen, we all took separate journeys, but we all got to the same place. <laughs> oh my god, I'll do Christmas sweater. Not all who wander are lost. <laughs> Ugly Christmas sweater. We got some mistletoe in there. Keep that away from me. I'm gonna kiss somebody. Some jewelry. Oh man. Cool. Are, did we all get the different colors? Oh, yeah. oh, are they? Oh. I the mustard, mustard color one. <laughs> Hold on. This will look perfect with my toes. Yeah, we get different colors. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a booger. <laughs> yeah. I look like a burnt sausage. <laughs> <laughs> KJ, yeah. thank you so much. This was absolutely oh incredible. Thank you. We just, we, we probably messed it up the entire time, but we had so much fun messing it up <laughs> all together. <laughs> so, these are the grandstands, everyone. Uh, kind of just threw an idea together, and then I made this indoor area. Uh, to the left here, we got the racer changing area. I gave some funny names to each of these different types of boats, like the Oak Rider, the Spruce Force, Mangrove Mayhem, and you know, things like that. So, you know, choose your favorite different type of boat. Bo boat? Boke? Your, your boke? Your book? I'm all messed kind of like up. Cherry nightmare. The Cherry Nightmare. The Dark Horse. Acacia later. <laughs> Sorry, it's so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the cherry nightmare too. Oh, wait, I'm not gonna be racing though. I, I, I will. What we can do is, who hasn't hit the course yet? Maybe. I think a lot of people, right? Yeah, I have it. Okay, so we can all go out and just get used to getting back on a boat a little bit. Otherwise, it's gonna be a bloodbath. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so slow and steady is my recommendation. Just small movements, kind of like Mario Kart drifting is your best option. There's like lots of straightaways where you can, you know, catch up with speed. I also recommend, I also recommend, you know, changing your angle a little bit. Are you guys tag teaming? Change, you can change your angle up a little bit with like your perspective and it's a little bit easier as well. It's it's pretty hard getting started. <laughs> it's gonna be a tight race, I think. I, I, are you enjoying the ride, Ham? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna do a little perspective here real fast. Ladies and gentlemen, you've joined me today on the greatest of days. The greatest of days, I'm telling you, it's the Frozen Fjord Grand Prix. That's right, all of the greatest racers across the Minecraft server come today. Uh, let me go ahead and throw across the quick names here. We've got Super Mare, we've got the Kier, we've got the Hen, we've got Lopa, we've got, I'm sorry, Lops, we've got Mister, <laughs> sorry, we've got Sam, and last but not least, we've got Mary. Look at that, she's got determination in her eyes. I can tell, I can tell. All right, guys, uh, when I drop my blouse here, that means we're going to start. That's my handkerchief. It's the best option I have. All right, so three laps. You guys know the rule. Uh, cheating is definitely prohibited. Go ahead and just hit each other. I don't care. I don't care. Just, just follow your hearts. On your mark! Get set! Go! And they're off! And we've got the straightaway coming up here. All right, they're coming around the first bend here. Oh, we've got, we've got Hen coming around the corner. I gotta stay out of the way. And Takir coming up right behind. Oh, 
Sam, are you in first? Are you in the front? Oh, yeah. <laughs> said, yeah. oh, oh man, you guys are way behind. <laughs> it's a battle for second place, everyone. <laughs> oh, Hen, you're in, Hen, you're in second place. You're crushing. Third place, we've got Mary. Fourth place, we got Fakir coming around the curve. Here we go. We got Fakir coming in the straightaway, coming to make his finish up his second lap in second place. Here we got coming around third here. Bouncing off the walls. If here comes Hen! She looks like a wild stallion. Look at her speed. Here we go. Misters flying around the corner. Here we go. We got some defense set up here. And here comes Mare! <laughs> And we got the last lap. I think everyone's on the last lap. Then I'll catch up with everybody else. And here comes Sam for the win. He won by four and a half minutes. He's the hero. He's the hero of the day. Wait, who? It's got to be a tight battle for second back here. If we can find them. Oh, here he comes. The Kier's coming up the back stretch. Here we go with the Kier's coming in through second here. Hey, Silver's not bad. Silver's not bad. Let's do one last picture. Everybody, let's do one last picture. What do you think? Over in the Christmas Village for KJ? Yeah. Y'all, today was the most fun ever. Big shout out to everybody here on the server for coming out and participating. Man, I had so much fun. And an even bigger shout out to KJ for putting all of this together, this whole village, this whole event. Oh, we missed you dearly today. If you like this content, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Already hit that subscribe button, man, just go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you so much for being a part of me and, and this server and, and just enjoying the holidays with us. Guys, from everyone here at Dimension Craft, we wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. We'll see you next year.